This is the last one in the series. We're going faster than I thought we would. Oh. Holy whoops shit. Looks like Mama Hodmine didn't cherish her last go here. <laughs> a fair assessment, Brother Linux. Or perhaps they finally possessed the Hang necessary in intel to make their strike. Lord Gutman, I have urgent news. Speak quickly. Our coverage scans have identified the incoming bioships as part of a massive Tyranid Hive fleet. By our estimates, there's not enough time to mount a proper defense. I thought as much. Yeah. At this point, Posed. my personal diagnosis is that we are all going to suffer an alien scythe performing mm. full body castrations on our innards. Ooh. Unless we have an exterminatus fleet perform. That's not right, Crippman, and you know it. The planet of Victoria Primus is too valuable to lose, and billions of lives are at stake. We could yet fight back this infestation. We are I think that's... Death Watch, the shield. I think. <sighs> The bet it's difficult because it's either you do exterminatus. But here's the thing, unless unless you have the equipment for a particular type of exterminatus, there's a good chance you're still gonna give biomass to the fleet. Maybe not as much as they wanted, but they're still gonna get a lot of it, depending on what kind you have. So it's either you gotta like take care of it now or you have to fight them all. Right now and win. <laughs> Yikes. That slays. We cannot allow ourselves to be so complacent. Did you get your conscription call in a cereal box, you furry fuck? <laughs> the servants of the Inquisition kill random mortals on a daily basis for that exact reason, rune priest. This isn't some gaggle of orcs or a Yumgal fellatio fraternity. This is an Emperor Dan Hive Fleet. They have Billions of warriors! They We're do. not going to push back a tyrannic fleet just by believing in ourselves <laughs> or the power of friendship or some shit. Works but could I maybe do that. I necessarily disagree with you, Kaleido boy. Did you just call our chapter a bunch of furry fucks, you green leaf lying out? <laughs> what? You don't like the sound of it, you savage? Why don't you go howl about it in your shit-filled private oh. quarters? And as for you, you soggy space druid, you act all wise and knowing, but you wouldn't know a tyrannid from an elk's hairy ass. Safe watch. Oh my Compose gosh. yourselves right. <laughs> this guy is a bit worked up. He's just a little worked up, but that's understandable because they're facing kind of certain death here. No. That was just uncalled for, Kalato. You better take that back and apologize. Oh, weep me, wind the wolf. Where are you go, <laughs> fucking Jerry? Half watch! <laughs> Compose yourselves this instant. Oh, or my. I will declare an exterminatus on this very fucking ship. You know what be, would be hilarious? So, uh, I watched uh, Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars, the t television series. And there's a, a series of episodes where it talks about Padme and Anakin and uh, a whole thing with Rush Clovis. And it's really funny because there's a point someone, I saw this on the internet, someone turned the, um, the they dubbed it in like Spanish and they played the Spanish version of a fight that like Anakin and Rush Clovis were having. And it sounded like a telenovela. And I think this would be really funny if it was in Spanish and it like turned telenovela. I would just, I don't know really much of Spanish. But it would be funny to watch. <laughs> you think you scared me, you gay right, hyper fascist? I'll take Whoa. this fucking power. Uh, <laughs> boys, Captain, we uh, return to our fleet and battle the aliens our way, I guess. Roger, Roger. So, Roger, you Roger. It, or shall I? Go ahead. Right. <laughs> the poop golem, step back! Ah, no! Where are they? I just cleansed my mind of those filthy, homunculus fucking abominations! Just a prank, idiot. Sorry, not sorry. You fucking ass! Well, now that I have your attention, can we decide upon what to do with the Hive Fleet, please? The Blood Ravens have already gone to battle it. The <sighs> only option will be to wipe out the planet. Um, my lord? This is the point of no return, and you know it. Besides, this is my decision. The problem may be in closer proximity than your specs has told us. I am only here to give my advice, Lord Crippman, mm -hmm. and you know that. But, if there is no other choice... Inquisitor, Deathwatch, I really think you should... We are talking and you are not allowed <laughs> in this quarter, Acolyte! Oof. So as I intended on... Posed. My caravans crippled! Oh, what the fuck 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I never want to hear those words ever again. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Ever seen such a thing, Sororitas? No, but upon their arrival, the Ordo Xeno warned us of an invasion by a Xeno species called Tight Renids, or something along those lines. <laughs> they are supposedly deploying an entire fleet's worth on the planet, which is to say a few billion creatures. How are we supposed to judge, jury, and execute our billion Just execute. Enemies? The Remus are enough to kill us all! <sighs> I suppose us battle sisters will first die horribly in order to protect you all. Then you will desperately hold the lines until the arrival of the Adeptus Astatus. Do not fear, noble sororitas. We are here. Yeah. And we shall assist you in the defense. Ah! Ah! Compose yourself, trigger witch. Why would you do that? <laughs> Slaughter mode activates as soon as mutants are located. What were you expecting? But I'm a space marine. Mutant, Look at my technically. Armor. Space marines are technically mutants, yeah. damn it! I need time to process the fact that I'm not supposed to murder you. You arrived so suddenly, so I couldn't. I'll, I'll accept that excuse for now, for we have a plan to defend. Yes. Men and women of the car, we, the Emperor's chosen jury, prepare our verdict. You are the gable. You are the center. You're the gable. Okay. Sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, what, what happened? Where are those disgusting noises? Warspec scans report that we're being consumed by a hive ship about ten times bigger than our own vessel. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay. So. I remember, I don't, I think this is from a separate book, but I think GW had a book where there was a, like, a guard ship. It was, like, regular, regular guard, and they were being consumed by, like, the, the hive mind or, like, a larger, uh, Tyranid vessel. And the descriptions for how everyone on the bridge horribly died to the stomach acids Oh my, I forget where, there was like, um, someone like read it, it was like a narrated version. It was awful. If you look outside the hop lot, you can see the ship being passionately wrapped in an alien meat bun. That's one hell of a fellatio. I'm actually impressed. He sense anything, Voland? Uh, my mind is gravely assaulted by visions of tentacular horrors. The shadow in the warp reigns supreme here. I cannot Ooh. focus. Well, shit, we'll have to rely on logic then. Hasn't been our strong suit thus far, though. My crew are dead men walking, and aid from the outside is out of the question. What we must do is clear as Amasek. What? Perform collective suicide? We must perform a boarding action onto this hive ship and slay its Norn Queen. Hmm. The Norn Queen? You mean Mama Hivemind herself? <laughs> Mama Hivemind. controlling the entire hive fleet, the one that births billions of creatures that make up the entire swarm. That's nonsensical, Lord Crippen. How do we even know the Queen is on this ship? Besides our scan reports, you can always consider that it was capable of swallowing an entire Mars-class battle cruiser. A fair assumption would be that this is the biggest hive ship in our fleet. I mean, yeah, but like other ships are really big too. I don't have reference for how large the Mars fleet, the Mars, yeah, that. I, I have no idea how big they are. <laughs> Look, she's got a little crown and she's got like, that could just be her nose, but I see this as like a bang, like a lock of hair, which makes me laugh. Bringing the Norn Queen down will sever their synaptic connection with the hive mind and gravely disorient the remainder of the fleet. This is no bad plan on parchment, but the thought of infiltrating a fully functioning hive ship to kill its queen is... How do I put this? Insane. You might as well hop into the Eye of Terror to kidnap a demon Primark. Do not forget who carries authority here. <laughs> You're dead either way. I've calculated a hundred potential plans for our boarding action, and I have narrowed it down to one that is less suicidal than yeah. others. Colin, we'll need you. 
Ah, oh, let me guess. I must conjure a gate of infinity to blindly try and break into the turreted ship, correct? Without any idea as to where this will get us? Not blindly. You shall attempt to find the psychic signature of the Norn Queen and lead us to its lair. Hmm. You think be able to do that? The shadow of the warp is viciously scratching at the gates of my mind. Letting it in would be suicide. Are you a chosen ruin priest of the Death Watch? <laughs> or are you a fucking pussy lord? Yikes. Very well, Inquisitor. Yikes. I shall do my best. Has he done it? Has he done the thing? Good people of Victoria Primus. You have proven yourselves willing to defend your home. You have put aside your differences for the sake of this world's <laughs> safety. Arbitrator Porker. Creep. A nice and <laughs> oh my gosh. act. Much like our marshal here would have said, today, you are all the law. No! Impersonating an officer is highly illegal! Oh my gosh. Right. And much like the fearsome sisters of battle, you are all the fires that shall burn away the enemy. Yay! <laughs> oh, yikes. Uh, oh my gosh. We shall show these to... Uh, is it pronounced Tyranids or Tyranids? That is a very controversial topic, Captain. What? Uh, right. Well, we shall show these aliens that the Imperial good, good, good. That's safe. united in a singular cause, bringing death to our enemies. And if we die this day, we die in... in glory. We die heroes. I, I, li I like to think that on that piece of paper, he has a bunch of different words. It's like, in glory, honor, and he has like a list of different words. <laughs> that would, uh, that would, uh, <laughs> that would fit. And he's like, ah, oh, we gotta mix it up every once in a while. Uh... <laughs> Death, but we shall not die. No, it is the enemy who will taste death and defeat. They defeat? Defeat. I said Bug defeat. feet. Please. But they also, technically, Tyranids, they do eat feet. They, But they're not, like, weird about it. They they just straight up eat the feet. Doesn't matter if they're part of a, a living being anymore. They're just, they'll just eat whatever. So yes, they will, uh, they'll eat the feet. I don't want to die! Well, I think I nailed it. Splendid! Beautiful! I cry! <laughs> Lands up! I said Lands up! What? Oh, they're coming. Oh, it has begun. All right, all right. Steady. Steady. Destroy! Oh, oh, oh. oh. You know what I think of when I see all of the the Tyranids fly in? I think of uh, I think of the Wizard of Oz and the flying monkeys. Like that music would be perfect because that's what it feels like. Even though this is way more serious. Get him! Get him, boys! Oh, that's bad. Oh. oh, that's bad. What? There's a Tyranid that spits fire back out? I didn't know about this. What the heck? <laughs> Everyone, fall back! You have the right to remain silent, coward! We are dying en masse! Retreat! Bruh. Ew, disgusting. 
if any of if any of you played Baldur's Gate three, this is like in like the opening act. This is like the interior of like the intra introduction zone. Where I honestly almost exactly like this on the on the like Nautiloid. Oh no. Do not worry. Just some psychic backlash. He will get back to us in short time. Hopefully. This hive ship is huge though. Finding a queen can quite the hassle. Oh, look at that. She's right there. What's this? She's sushi with a dick. <laughs> No, that <laughs> oh my gosh. The Lord Queen's Vanguard. Oh, is that right? Done. What? Oh, that's sick. All right. I'm the best there is at what I do. And what you do is be a triple A plus dickhead! <laughs> he just helped you, man. It's fine. It's fine. Do you know how rare these occasions to kick ass are? I'm the sorry, man. What are you waiting for? Kill the queen while it's not guarded! She is angry looking. Psychic assault! We must overcome! To attack! Feels like brain is flying! It probably actually is! Stay strong, sisters! The Emperor is still with us! Purge the unclean! Burn the... What are you doing? <laughs> uh, excuse me, Liz. I was just contemplating your taste in prayer. Don't you have a freaking gun to fire? Orders to give? Knowledge is power. Look, he's stealing everything. Right. Oh, Take her uh, book. Looks like she fell. Are you okay, sister? <laughs> no, I fell on the ground, idiot. What? No, no, no. Hold the lines. Don't mindlessly charge oh, no. the Ah, uh, that is one of their flaws. Wow, uh, that's brave. I am as religious as any of Oh Ecclesia. my gosh. But what's with your troops having a martyr complex? They really I do. I was actually dead. Enough of this. Pushing them back at this stage is a fool's errand. They must have a weakness, an Achilles heel. Have you tried contacting the Inquisitor about it? This? Not a bad idea. Yeah, maybe we should have started with that. That might have been a good thing to start with. Ooh. Just fucking shoot it! Can't move. All pain nerves at maximum capacity. All of them. Inquisitor Cryptman, this is Godfrey of the Blood Ravens. I'm busy dying right now. Fuck off! I'm sure, I'm sure. However, I would like some advice on how to fight these aliens. You know, these... Chitrinids. Oh, Fuck no. Sake, just target the big brain ones. Preferably the big banana horned beast. Banana, you say? I... I... I mean... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, I would advise acting now, because we are very close to passing. Maybe I should throw my shield at it. No, that's, that seems really derivative. Maybe we can order our ship to shoot or something. Yeah, well, that's not happening, because our ship and everything in it is gone. Gone. Uh. Gone. My ship is gone. Everything it contained. The research is... Oh no. He's gonna be upset that he lost his special books. My last pair of glasses. My single data collection. There it is. 
Especially my Xenon data collection. Oh. Because of you. Kripman, how can he stand? <laughs> Oh no. Whatever godly you may believe yourself, you decrepit space plane. You have done fucked up because you just made it personal. Oh. I'll kill you to death, you little boy. His willpower actually nullified the queen's powers. That's hilarious! Stop babbling and kill him now! Yeah, get it, chat. Get him, get him, get him! Hey, wait, no, hold on. Wouldn't it be fuck a mother? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is why you just gotta go in. You just gotta go in and do it. You can't just be waiting. You know what? Fuck this. Why did we let him into the kill team? He keeps stealing kills. It's a kill team, not a kill individual. But he's kill really good at it. Woo! Skill issue. Victory for the fucking righteous! Let fuck with will pay. Don't talk now, Inquisitor. You're only accelerating the oozification of your remaining brain matter. The non queen is already dead. Yay. Thanks to your potassium intake. Good boy, boy. <laughs> Wait, something's not right! What chop the off the head, chop off that? the head. It made my batches gland tickle. What? I would bet on a psychic phenomenon caused by this creature's death. Oh, old man, you're back! Well, yeah. Indeed. I suppose we got the desired result after all. Yep. Your return to reason proves that the Shadow of the Wolf has lost its potency. That does help. To the Queen's death. Oh, this might be a terrible blow to the High Fleet, but the battle on the planet's surface is still a problem. It depends on if they drop uh, yeah, dead. About that, I wonder what uh, Captain Weird Free is up to right now. Ooh, where'd he get that gun? Booyah! Knowledge is power, vermin! <laughs> nice. We're going to talk about the sacrifice of an entire third of the company to make us able to approach this beast. <laughs> no. I thought as much. Pathetic. Inquisitor, good news! Captain Godfrey, what's the situation? The malefic banana beast has been defeated, and it was indeed effective. It yeah. seems the sentience of these beasts has been upset. Absolutely no coordination. Yeah, they like to hurt each other. They're having a bad day now. We are finally starting to hold our ground firmly. Or at least, what remains of it. So the High Fleet has turned into a swarm of decapitated chickens running in circles. Nice. Here's not good. Who we know of? Here's the Yeah, exactly like I said. Wait. You okay, buddy? Brother Rudenface, chanting is not necessary. Um, if he's like that again, does that mean... Yes, this is not over. I don't know if it'll ever but be over. The two primary conduits of the High Fleet are already dead. See, the Queen remains a bloody corpse. Perhaps it gave birth to something in its dying breath, in an incubation chamber far away from here. What me need to drop for him? It's the dumbest one! Go off, Mithril! Uh... Um... He's bugging out, yeah. <laughs> One out of one apothecary. 
Curtis recommend we get out of here <laughs> now? <laughs> you know, it's actually easy to forget that you're essentially in the belly of a giant beast right now. Mm, yeah, Death you are. Watch, ready your teleport devices. Guided vectoring shall lead us to the locator beacon upon Victoria Primus. Okay. Why do we use this to get on Victoria Primus first instead of risking our lives here? Because arriving here to kill the Nord Queen was just as damning as taking part in the battle. Holy shit! Just use the fucking teleport home or you just get cut! Captain Godfrey, a new problem seems to have arisen. Have you seen anything unexpected on your part? Captain Godfrey, do you copy? Ooh, that is not good. Excuse the delay. We had not received intel on our second banana beast. It arrived in the skies just moments ago. Oh no. Another but How did it look like? How did it look like? Same, but bigger, meaner. With four really nasty swords. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Every time he gets mad that he has to do more work, but then he gets mad when people take care of the problem for him. Oh. P. Angie, chat. Dick monsters have gathered for a coordinated assault, oh, no. and they're coming right this way! Captain, listen to me. That thing is a swarm war. The same legendary atrocity that tested Manius Kalgar himself in combat, Ooh. nearly slain the entirety of the Ultramarines a hundred years ago. You and your troops will never be able to withstand this final assault if you act too defensively. Our only hope is to strike the beast hard enough to annihilate it. No sacrifice will be too great! Do you hear me? Copy that. Oh. Oh, oh. Sorry. Everyone, oh. kill the new but Anna monster at all costs. Well, my apologies. My troops are too busy being dead. Now, where is the marshal? He should be leading his harbites into. Wait a minute. He is the law chat. He's gonna do it. This is an arrest, bum. <laughs> Brought out your weapon. Dead or alive, you coming with me? Get him, get him. Ah, oh, that's not what I meant, but you know. Uh, his name shall be remembered in the halls of glory, I suppose. You don't happen to have a plan of action, do you, Canoness? Helping the heroic sacrifice of my sisterhood and that artist will inspire the rest of your troops, I guess. Other than that, the Emperor's life left this world. He's angry. That was painful. That was so painful. Not on our death watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, not oh, this hey, music. We are ready to Did he just get his hand back? Oh, hey, no, he has his hand watch. still. He's we missing it. Over a trail of us if necessary. About damn time we got some more action. Oh, I'm better now. Pretty sure we have an 80% chance of dying. Oh my gosh. Ah, incredible power! Ah, Oh, he running. Time to do your absolutely broken bullshit sniping thing. Losing strength. Don't you losing strength me, you useless Oh magpie. my gosh. Bowlin, use your dumb wolf magics. <laughs> he called him a magpie. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, not again. Hey, you. <gasps> the guy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. You know, they, they had to be the ones that did the finishing blow. They, they had to do the finishing blow, otherwise it was going to be like, you know, they, they'll, they'll do it.
and they'll get all the credit for it. Go, Calgar, get him. My brothers did that job. Oh yeah. Get him. Get him. Ooh, that was a sick line. Rematch, get him, get him. Ew, put that away. Round two, cockroach. <laughs> Kill him with his own sword. Whilst you exist, your pain will know no end. Yes, yes. I love this. And once mankind's resist, we raise our fists and we cast will fist. Fuck you. Yes, got him. Yeah. That was so good. That was so good. You wanna make it a base L3? Come attack out American. No, no. I fucking dare you. Oh, all right. Who the fuck called us? Uh, that would be us, on behest of Inquisitor Cryptman of the Ordozios. Seriously? We received about 500,000 fucking spam mails <laughs> in our box box. Our communication services were all in seizures. Next time, try to kill these insects yourself for once. Oh god, the Tyranids have arrived! Oh! What do you think we are? Space exterminators? I mean, you're really good well, at your job. Since you're veterans of all the tyrannic wars mm -hmm. thus far, I'd say that's actually a pretty apt description. Ah! Fuck you! Come down, <laughs> oh, he's missing a leg too, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh, there's no need to get violent. Secure your face! You <laughs> shit fucking original character! You don't even cannon! <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to mean! Damn it! I mean... This is getting too meta again. Damn it! <laughs> that's so scarious! A second island vampire! <laughs> oh... That... that voice. Oh, I need to hear it again. Meta again. Damn it! That's so scarious! A second island vampire <laughs> in my absence. Yeah, you might want to check your throne once you're back at the crag. Also... Hail, Lord Calgar. It is an off- Fuck the shut up, you fucking quitter! <laughs> you seen your fancy death foot for the longest schedule possible! That I definitely will, my lord. <laughs> Charge out for Elmas! Initiate protocol, fuck off! We are finished here. It's basically just a retreat. <laughs> well, it's been f <laughs> That's a, it's a solid code name. Fun, despite the fact that I'm the lone survivor of my entire force and have this lingering urge to lay down and die. I mean, why would you do uh, that? Mercy kill. Oh. Ask for the Empress peace and it shall be delivered. Okay then. Also, damn, I need a bigger kill count. The Dark Angels are fucking heretics. Shut up. <laughs> so, it seems victory upon Victoria Primus has been secured. What happens now? We celebrate at last! The aliens have been vanquished, and Victoria Primus has been kept from their nefarious claws. Are you truly convinced of that, Captain? Hmm? It's not looking very good. I'm sure everything is intact on the other side of the planet. Mm -hmm. And thus, everyone eventually <laughs> got their shit together. <laughs> 
The Blood Ravens bid everyone farewell. Yes, the Blood Ravens are canon. Their <laughs> usual fucking thing, of course. Then <laughs> they saw 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 sneaky sneaky boys. A uh, sneaky sneaky boys. Once Cryptman got a new provisory ship, two members of the Death Watch kill team were summoned to report to the <sighs> Watch Fortress. So let me get this straight. During your ungodly prolonged service to Inquisitor Fidus Kretzman, a Tyranid High Fleet attacked your lone ship, only to withdraw almost instantly. Then you got lost in space, blaming the shadow in the warp for disrupting your sensors, even though it is a psychic phenomenon that affects living beings like psychers, not sensors and arrays and star maps. Then you stumbled upon a hive world that you deemed to be, and I quote, a perfect target for a Tyranid fleet. Only for you to randomly meet an entire company of <laughs> Blood Raven Space Marines on a whim, who told you that they were, and again, I quote, free of any duties and would like to join you in whatever you are doing. Sounds like a fan fiction. And then you tell me that this Draken character. The researcher working for Inquisitor Kripman was allied to the Tyranids because apparently he had something in common with these mindless aliens and wished to join them. Finally, you were fortunate enough to have the Ultramarines themselves come to your rescue <laughs> without any form of prior notice. That does sound like oh, a fan fiction. And shortly after your victory, the Blood Ravens, in all of their misappropriating glory, proceeded to come onto your ship and out of all the things you possessed once more i quote stole cyrus <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> i know i know what master verb in <laughs> they just said mm, we like that guy you wink <laughs> they just yoinked him Respect. It might sound extremely dumb. Yes. Are you certain you weren't just stuck in the warp since last century? Because that would explain a lot. <laughs> Pretty certain we were not. Or were we? Um. What are we to do regarding Cyrus's absence, Watchmaster? <sighs> you know what? The Blood Ravens can have it their way. I have little to no interest in their schemes. On the contrary, if this helps keep them away from my watch fortress, I certainly have no objection. What about Kryptman? What about Kryptman? Well, you know, he had that Draken fellow in his crew. It turned out to be a Xenohorificus. Kryptman knew about it and just kept him for his knowledge and effectiveness at work. He was very adamant about not letting this information leak anywhere. But here it is. What is your word concerning this? Should it be tolerated? Hmm. Death Watch, can you identify this? It's a sword? Good. Continue to waste my time. Delaying my war councils with this pointless meeting probably only doomed two planets. So well, then get to the point, Why dang not it. Extend the number? Get to oh, the point. It's a nightlight. That's three planets. Ah, oh, a Xenophase blade. Uh huh, where is it from? Take I a chill pill, man. I'm not at liberty to say. Exactly. See that Draken fellow with the same eyes? All know its origins, clearly accepting you, Lenius. Hmm. But all are forbidden to speak of it, for it is, of course, very embarrassing. So pursuing your Inquisitor for this one radical decision would be hilariously hypocritical. Isn't the entire Imperium built on hypocrisy? Quiet! Yeah. <laughs> See, no said anyhow, no one cares. So, will we be returning to our kill team now? No. You two are out. Go back to your chapter. Beg your pardon? Considering both that story of yours and your personal files, you two are unfit Ooh. to be part of the Death Watch after all. Yikes. Roland, you're too nice and optimistic, and you, Lydius, you're too brash, and your toilet humor is horrid. I hate it. Well, that's shitty to hear. I have already sent forth replacements to make up for your absence. Dismissed. Fuck off. Oh, demoted. Forgive me, brother. I have failed you. I must atone for my sins. For fuck's sake, Black Shield, all you did was step on my foot and be fine. Are you captain of the latest of the Fifth Symphony? No! So we meet again. What? So, what's the final verdict? 
on the Victoria Primus conflict. Did we make any sort of advancement? Because besides the safeguarding of Imperial assets, this all seemed relatively pointless. We can now conclusively say that Ultramarines win forever and Tyranids are bad. Yes. I, yes. Were they always bad? No, only mildly awful. They now reach the level 5 menace, bad. Uh. Ah. Hmm. But what is left of these insectoid dinosaurs now is just a shadow of their former self. And they were rightly crushed. So what's your point? This Tyranid menace is indeed history. High Fleet Behemoth, that is. We might have not needed to make use of the Exterminatus this time around, but... I'm sure he's disappointed about that. In my time aboard the Hive ship, after the Norn Queen was vanquished, it leaked a phenomenal psychic message that my mind accidentally intercepted. Mm -hmm. I received visions of something that might surpass all our worst expectations. Leviathan? I believe I was given the sickened privilege of looking at the very face of our adversary. And what I can say is that it is not a face, but rather a mouth. Oh. You're getting a little more grimdark than usual here, Crickman. Are you feeling okay? Probably not. Well, definitely not. <laughs> but I'll be better after a good recap. Make me one. With a lot of milk for my skull bone, it needs to be fortified. <laughs> very good, very good. I think 